everyone when a circle x minus 1 squared plus y squared equals 1 is divided by a line y equals ax the ratio of the two divided arcs is 1 to 2 so we're going to find uh, the value of the positive constant a uh, in this line so basically the slope there all right let's draw a quick little sketch so we have our y here and our x here uh, looking at the circle our center is at 1 comma 0 so I'll put it about there there's your center and the radius is 1 so I'll put the 1 here 1 here and I'll just do a little sketch it'll be negative 1 here and this would be uh, 2 here alright so there's your little circle Now, uh, we have this line y equals ax, so that means the y-intercept is 0, all right? And then it goes through, um, the arc is 1 to 2. So that means the arc, um, when you draw this, let's see, just draw something like that. Um, not sure. Uh, when you draw this, um, it's going to... Uh, be one third up here and two thirds down here right when it's one to two all right so um, also this was my center so I'm going to draw this down this is going to equal one and this equals one all right now that we have that uh, we're going to let the measure of angle A B O and we haven't uh, labeled this let me label this let's let this be A and this uh, be B and then our origin here be O alright so now we have that uh, let's let the measure of this equal theta so basically what we're looking for is this angle here right there now the length of arc OA is one third, because remember that's one third times two pi times one, because we have the one, um, and that's going to equal one times theta. So this is going to give me my theta equals two pi divided by three. And from there, uh, we're going to notice that if this is 2 pi divided by 3, that the measure of angle AOB equals the measure of angle OAB. Therefore, it's isosceles. And am I spelling this right? Nope. I cannot spell. All right. I saw. All right. And also we notice that these uh, sides are the same. Since these sides equal and our angles are the same, um, we're going to let this equal 180 degrees minus theta divided by 2. So that's going to be uh, pi. Let's just use pi. Minus 2 pi divided by 3 divided by 2. And this gives you, uh, uh, the numerator is going to be pi divided by 3. And then we have divided by 2, which gives you pi divided by 6. All right. And keep it on the same page. I'm going to erase this. So now that we have pi divided by 6, we're going to look at uh, A equals 10 of pi divided by 6. Therefore, um, A equals 10 of pi divided by 6 is 1 divided by square root of 3. If you rationalize the denominator, that's going to be square root of 3 divided by 3. So um, basically, our line was Y equals square root of 3 divided by 3X. But this is all you need. Thank you. 
Have a nice day. Bye-bye.